Recently, a great tragedy happened. The accident at Chernobyl nuclear power plant. For the first time, we have actually encountered the formidable force of nuclear energy that has gone out of control. This largest disaster in the history of nuclear power shocked the entire planet and left a wound on its body that will not heal for many more years. Specialists still do not have a consensus on the exact causes of the accident. The versions of nuclear engineers are similar in general terms and differ in specific mechanisms of the emergence and development of the process that destroyed the Chernobyl reactor. Experts restored every minute, checked and double-checked possible scenarios of the tragedy dozens of times. And now, how exactly events developed can already be judged for sure. April 26, 1986 at 1.23 a.m., a fire signal was received at the Chernobyl Fire Station duty unit. Go to the nuclear power plant. The roof of the fourth unit is on fire. Three branches of the fire department left for the station. Hello. The third and the fourth buildings are on fire. Already confirmed? Not confirmed. The accident occurred, the dispatching prepared said. Additional reinforcements were called from Kyiv and nearby regions. Hello, is that military firefighting department too? Yes. What's burning there? Explosion on the main building. Are there any people there? Yes. Mobilize officer staff. None of the firefighters even suspected that the reactor of the nuclear power plant was destroyed and each of them received a great dose of radiation. Fire was assigned to the third, the highest difficulty number. Behind them was the whole city, it's 50,000 people, or maybe even more. And I don't have to tell you, none of them flinched. The only protective equipment firefighters had was tarpaulin jackets, gloves and helmets. Due to the high temperature, firefighters took them off during the first minutes of the fight against the fire. Not even half an hour after the firefighters arrived at the call, they began to show weakness, vomiting and the so-called nuclear tan. After 10-15 minutes, frequent vomiting began. It lasted for three hours. How often has vomiting repeated? Every 3-5 minutes. In the first hours of the accident, more than 300 people were exposed to radiation. These were NPP personnel, firefighters and doctors. Literally 15-20 minutes after the accident, all the main specialists were called by phone to their workplaces. It was the burning unit from where they evacuated more than a dozen victims. Of the 300 people, 237 were diagnosed with acute radiation poisoning. On the first day after the disaster, 31 people died from radiation. I went to wonder what happened there. Came closer, near the fence. I looked at the main hall. The reactor compartment was in ruins. The wall collapsed. The water was flowing. Then after 10-15 minutes I got very sick. Substances containing atoms with an unstable nucleus are called radioactive. They emit alpha and beta particles, gamma quanta, 
which have different penetrating abilities. Better rays with their low penetrability are limited to penetration into the surface layers of the skin. The epidermis is affected, superficial ulcers appear. Gamma rays penetrate deep. The radiation caused by this is determined by the distance from the source and the laying is much deeper. These particles ionize the molecules of living organisms. The most sensitive to radiation are the chromosomes of dividing cells, which subsequently either die or form incorrectly causing tumors. For a long time the Soviet government hid information about Chernobyl and then withheld the real scale of the disaster. An attempt to smooth the situation did not allow to do even more in the very first hours to reduce the consequences of what happened. Initially, the leadership of the nuclear power plant sent a report to Moscow that the situation was taken under control and the threat to people's life and health was prevented. Many residents of Pripet, from whom the nuclear power plant was only a few kilometers away, gathered on the railway bridge from where opened the view of the picturesque fiery glow in the sky, which was blossoming with the colors of the rainbow. Unfortunately, they did not know that the wind that blew in their faces brought a quick and painful death to many of them. The fact that in their city the level of radiation was exceeded 600,000 times the residents of Pripyat learned under the next day, April 27th. In the first days, the population of the 10 km zone and then 30 km zone was evacuated. In total, over 115,000 people. It was forbidden to take any personal belongings with them. Many were evacuated in home clothes. In order not to create panic, it was reported that people would soon be able to return. The information about the incident was collected by the working group of the elimination of the consequences of the Chernobyl accident. On the 26th, you were on duty with the control board of the 4th unit. You must remember this day well. At the final stage of the investigation, not so many direct participants and witnesses of those events remained alive. Exactly at 1.19 an explosion occurred. After that, the explosion repeated. Lighting and power cut off. The equipment was stopped. As I left the control board, I saw the panels falling. Steam, dust, water around. The breakdown at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, which produced a tenth of the electricity of the entire Ukrainian SSR, produced a radiation contamination effect equal to 200 atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The combination of radioactive steam and hydrogen destroyed the ceiling over the 1,200 tons reactor and completely collapsed the roof of the unit. Graphite rods burn under the debris at a depth of 14 meters. At the bottom, at a temperature of 3,000 degrees, 1,200 tons of hot mass are boiling. Traditional methods prepared at the station are impossible to localize. We began to come up with solutions that would create the first barrier to the spread of radioactivity. It was decided to attack this reactor from above. Many Soviet scientists fought over the problem of neutralizing the largest source of radiation infection in the history of mankind. But it was Valery Legasov, an academician from the institute that developed the Chernobyl reactor, who made the greatest contribution to solving this problem. The professor arrived at the scene of the disaster, one of the first. He worked at the scene of the accident for four months instead of the prescribed two weeks and received a radiation dose four times higher than the maximum permissible norm. It was Legasov who proposed and calculated the possibility of using with the help of aviation a special mixture of boron, clay, sand, lead and dolomite to throw it into the reactor. This mixture was to reduce the emission of extremely harmful vapors into the atmosphere. Above the radioactive abyss is a kilometer-high column of ash. Even near the epicenter, the ammeter goes off-scale, about 3,500 X-rays. 
This is nine times higher than the lethal dose. Pilots made 15-20 flights to the reactor per day to drop these loads. In just a week, almost 2,000 flights were made and tons of neutralizing mixture were dumped. Higher, like this, keep at this place, where the smoke goes, where the smoke. An equally important problem was the debris of graphite scattered everywhere, which was in direct contact with nuclear fuel. Each of the pieces emits radiation capable of killing a person in just an hour. The main task for 1987 was to deactivate and clean the roof of the third unit of the station. Remote controlled equipment works in the least dangerous areas to drop graphite and infected debris from the roof back into the reactor, even the moon rover was used. However, in some places the background of radioactivity was so high that the radiation burned any electronics of the robots. A lot of operations people had to do manually. Significant resources, more than 600,000 people were mobilized to eliminate the consequences of the Chernobyl accident. There also were military personnel. Attention! Comrade Colonel, the combined detachment of the Dnepropetrovsk region arrived in the city of Chernobyl. And subject matter experts and volunteers. If the motherland is in danger, it means everyone goes to the front. That's how people think. By what motives was I guided when I asked to be here? I believed that there is a fight, and if it is the fight, then it is necessary. All these people later were called liquidators. To reduce the dose of radiation damage, liquidators encased their equipment into lead and made lead armor. The work regulations for a person were measured in 40 seconds, 2 minutes, 1 hour. That's it, let's go. Enough for today. Come out. Come on, let's go. And you get out of there too. Mobilization points received and sent up to 40,000 people daily. I ask you to complete the task on time, with maximum potential, and report upon completion of the task. There was also a possibility that the melted insides of the reactor would burn concrete partitions and fall into the soil, and then into the water of the Dnieper. Within a month, a 136-meter tunnel was dug under the station by miners. A protective wall was built around, the depth of which in some places reached 30 meters. Then, works on cleaning the territory and burying the destroyed reactor started. Around the fourth unit, a concrete sarcophagus was built, the so-called shelter structure. Construction began in July and was completed in November 1986. During construction work in October 2nd, catching on the crane camber, the Mi-8 helicopter crashed and its crew of four people died. However, over time, the first sarcophagus began to deteriorate, and in the 2010s, the second, this time of steel, was built. Before the accident, the reactor of the fourth unit of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant contained approximately 200 tons of nuclear fuel. According to experts, from 5 to 30 percent of this amount was released into the environment. More than 200,000 square kilometers of land were contaminated. The regions located in the close proximity of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant were most badly affected. The northern regions of the Kiev and Zhitomyr regions of Ukraine, the Komal region of Belarus, and the Bransk region of Russia. Radiation affected even some regions significantly remote from the scene of the accident, for example the Leningrad region, Mordovia and Chuvashia. They suffered radioactive fallout. The increased content of cesium in reindeer meat in the Arctic regions of Russia, Norway, Finland and Sweden was noted. The contaminated cloud sailed through Poland to Czechoslovakia, then to Austria. How are you feeling? Quite well. Is everything okay at home? My daughter was recently born. Yes. Well, congratulations. No more questions for us? Good. Good luck to you. Thank you. All the best. 10,000 cases of newborn abnormality, 10,000 cases of thyroid cancer was recorded in Europe. The investigation into the Chernobyl disaster was officially closed. 
with the conclusion that the personnel of the power plant did not comply with the necessary safety rules. The director and chief engineer were sentenced to 10 years in prison, the deputy chief engineer to 5 years, the head of reactor workshop and the chief relief of the power plant to 3 years and 2 years in prison. The cause of the accident was the test of the so-called turbine generator rotor rundown mode proposed by the general designer as an additional emergency power supply system. If the steam supply to the turbine is cut off, it will rotate inertially. The authors of the experiment were interested in checking how much rotor energy is enough to produce electricity and maintain the productivity of the entire unit in an emergency situation. The first attempt in 1982 showed that the run-out tension drops faster than planned. Subsequent experiments after the refinement of the equipment in 1983-1985 also failed. The last attempt was fatal. I will not say that it was intent or responsibility or vice versa fear. No, we acted seriously but missed a lot and did not know a lot. The State Commission assigned the main responsibility for the accident to the operational personnel and management of the Chernobyl power plant, who made a number of unforgivable mistakes. Before the experiment, the reactor had to be shut down. However, it was decided to postpone the shutdown in connection with the upcoming May 1 celebration. At night, work on the reactor was carried out by less experienced specialists. Shutdown of the reactor was entrusted to them, although they did not have appropriate training. According to the World Health Organization, a total of about 4,000 people could eventually die as a result of the Chernobyl accident and most of the victims were among those who faced the danger so it would hurt others as little as possible.